Little defines a country's military might and a defense company's technical achievement better than a fighter jet. This is a Gripen made by the Swedish company Saab. It can fly twice the speed of sound, is nimbler than many of its competitors, and carries some of the world's most sophisticated avionics. It's an extremely agile platform. It's unstable and it can go up to 9 Gs. Uh, and it supersonic, obviously, it can go up twice the speed of sound. And it also is very controllable in low speeds which is important, for example, when you are uh, encountering helicopters. So we can encounter many kinds of threats. But even with these impressive stomach-churning abilities, Gripen has for years been seen as the little cousin to mightier fighters such as America's F-18 Super Hornet, France's Rafale or Eurofighter's Typhoon. scoff at its size and its single engine. And while all the other equivalent contenders in this market are backed by mighty military nations, Gripen is made here in Sweden, a neutral country which is not even a member of NATO. That's terribly important because when you procure a fighter jet, you also buy the military allegiance of the country that builds it. It's why the US dominates the market. But after years of playing on the sidelines, Gripen recently sent shockwaves through the industry and government corridors when it won two fiercely contested and very important tenders, first in Switzerland and then Brazil, together worth about $6 billion. It shows that uh, different nations find Gripen a good and perfect tool for their air forces. I mean, Brazil being a huge nation, uh, we, we have a small nation as Sweden, we have Stone selected in Switzerland. We have a very happy customer in Thailand, Czech Republic, South Africa, and Hungary. So we, we have a tool that fits many. The deals to build and sell potentially 58 more Gripens for foreign customers have vexed Saab's competitors, and with good reason. Saab's wins suggest the market for the bigger players could be much smaller than they first thought. Serious air forces are now opting for less expensive fighter jets, figuring that with the right missiles attached, these Gripens are all they need to defend their territory. I think people started to take Gripen very seriously. It's a very clearly differentiated product, and there are remarkably few of them around. It's smaller, it's lighter, it's cheaper, and it is uh, designed to be relatively easy to operate. And the aircraft at the top end of the fighter uh, market are becoming much more expensive and are not easy to operate. So having an alternative, a genuine alternative, down at the, at the bottom end, remember this is still a very sophisticated market, that, uh, that makes it a disruptive force. Gripen's next big test comes in May. Defence Minister Maurer of Switzerland, along with the country's parliament and air force, may have picked the Gripen. But in this small central European country, unlike almost anywhere else, ordinary citizens will have the final say in a referendum. A vote against Gripen would be a serious blow to Saab, but having proved to be the last one standing in Switzerland, and with a big Brazilian order, it's unlikely to put the genie back in the bottle. Gripen, as a threat to the status quo of the global fighter jet market, is here to stay. Carol Hoyos, Financial Times, Link Shopping, Sweden.